areas um, on the allure of the seas is actually their outside uh, activities. They have pools galore, and it, they're just, it's just an amazing area to go around and film and, and check out even if you're not interested in the outdoors at all, in the least bit. This is their pool that is dedicated to volleyball. If you look right next door, the colorful area is the kids' splash area. Little kids, but so beautiful. And then you walk around. I was just at the Windjammer and uh, actually at Izu Izumi. The problem with Izumi, it's, a, it's actually a pretty good concept, I think. But uh, they do need to give that restaurant a little more breathing space. It feels crowded. The um, people that work there, uh, it's just amazing. Sometimes you go in and you see in that little tiny center kitchen more than 10 people crowded in one space and it's very difficult. So the workers have a very, very difficult time sitting and working. This is a splash area. You could see that, it, it, first of all, it, it's not too deep, so the kids are having a great time. Uh, colorful and splashy and just really nice to sit and, um, and, and um, even check out. Not, not, not even be a part of. Look at that. It's a little bit windy, so I apologize for the shakiness of the camera. We're on a sea day. We are right in between um, Jamaica and uh, Cozumel, Mexico. Now notice the colors. Notice that um, here they have a different type of cheese lounges than they will have later on. Now um, this is the mast uh, bar but you will see a little more bars as we go along. It takes quite a few minutes um, between all the pools. Okay, so now we're in a different area, different pool, another pool with another jacuzzi. On the other side, another, two jacuzzis and a pool. And this is just the beginning. They have quite a bit. In this ship, although it is more than 5,000 people, just passenger-wise, it does not feel crowded one bit. This is Thanksgiving, and um, today is Thanksgiving Day, but it does not feel crowded. Now, check out here. You have an area that has different chess lounges and umbrellas. Uh, I guess designed by Brito or um, influenced by Brito. Very cute, colorful as always. Continuing. It is warm, it's beautiful. It's just your typical, typical Caribbean day. Just check out this ocean. Can't get better than this. <laughs> Still walking. This is a very, very long um, ship. It has quite a bit of walking to do from side to side. It's wonderful because once you eat all that food, you can just um, exercise by walking across. They have a special area on top. So this is, I think, uh, deck 17. I've kind of lost count uh, for the sweets. So if you have a sweet, then you get a sweet deal, no pun intended, and you can go up, at, up on the top deck and, you know, feel like top for everything. Check out the bathrooms. Um, this is the picture you get if you want to go to the um, ladies' room. And this is another jacuzzi right here. They're all kind of sheltered, so it's not a problem. You could sit and, and strike a conversation with um, your, your neighbor. Another area of the solarium, sheltered. You don't have to take literally bask in the sun if you don't want to, but you still are very um, open yet sheltered. This is, uh, you're catching a glimpse of the solarium, these drones. 
only 16 and above right here you see this is another area of the solarium and yet another area of the solarium a bar that's where most of the uh, or some at least a decent part of the revenue comes from check out the furniture a lot more comfortable check out this pillows that are also um, decorative as, as a decoration piece this is another yet area of the solarium and yet another area and jacuzzi of the solarium so continuing so uh, by the way that um solarium bistro does become the samba grill at night Cle very clever concept uh this is the 15th and 16th floor the solar the solarium is a really great concept and yet i sit and go around and I encounter yet another hot tub. Hot tubs are, I guess, in big demand, and that's why uh, these are two actually. This is the guys' bathroom right here. And yet I'm coming back to the spot that I'm coming. I, I started from. Just the solariums and the pools. Uh, of course, it's really easy at this point to lose count. So here it is the pools on the allure and the solariums on the allure. It would attract anybody. If whether you are an outdoor person or not, it's just a great place to be. So focus on one of those drinks as we go. Okay, this is our tour of the solariums and pools. and 11 ha happy thanksgiving to all my american viewers and peace around the world autistic globe trotting from 